Hi, it's Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. And in today's video, we continue our review of Walt Disney World Disney Deluxe Resorts from a senior's viewpoint. I'm a senior, Nancy's a senior. And one thing that is lacking in the multitude of reviews of accommodations within Walt Disney World is that from a senior's perspective. Seniors want different things when they go on vacations compared to young children, tweens, teens, and that of young family. So come along for the ride and let's take a look today at Disney's Contemporary Resort and the Disney Vacation Club Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort. So getting right to it is Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World. Are they appropriate for seniors? Well, we say for short stays, no. And for long stays, again, no. But why? We don't mean to be harsh, but for seniors, you know, you deserve to have your knees met. Let's take a look. So let's take a look first at the size and location statistics. Where is Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower? It's located, as most of us already know, at the Magic Kingdom area within Walt Disney World. How to access Magic Kingdom, it is a short seven to eight minute walk from either Bay Lake Tower or Disney's Contemporary Resort to the entrance of Magic Kingdom. And we have a video for you on that within our playlist. Or you can also access Magic Kingdom using the Disney monorail. In fact, Disney's Contemporary Resort is the iconic view with the monorail running right through the resort. Stopping at Disney's Contemporary Resort if it is not an express monorail from the main transportation hub to Magic Kingdom. More on that later. Now, how large is it? Well, the hotel, which is Disney's Contemporary Resort, has approximately 633 rooms, whereas Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort, a Disney Vacation Club resort, has approximately 428 units. The number of guest buildings, the Contemporary has two, while Bay Lake Tower has one. So there is not a lot of walking needed outside from one building to the next, which is very nice compared to some of the other Walt Disney World Disney Deluxe resorts. There are a total of three swimming pools, restaurants, there are approximately five restaurants and five lounges between the two resorts. As far as the theming, Disney calls it modern contemporary, plus the guest rooms at Disney's Contemporary Resort has a theming based on the movie franchise, The Incredibles. Additional perks, again, from certain areas within both Bay Lake Tower and Disney's Contemporary Resort, you can see the Magic Kingdom fireworks as we already showed you first up in this video, as well as with other views, you can see the electric water pageant. Do notice here the walkway between the Bay Lake Tower and Disney's Contemporary Resort main building. So while it's a long name, but this really is one single resort Disney's Contemporary Resort was one of the two first Disney resorts when Magic Kingdom opened back in 1971, along with the Polynesian Village Resort, whereas Bay Lake Tower was opened in August of 2019. Now join me as we do a walking tour at both resorts. In the theming, very modern. Lots of glass, lots of concrete, lots of marble on the floor. As far as the restaurants on site, one thing to be aware of is that many of them are on the expensive side. For example, the California Grill has that wonderful view of Magic Kingdom at night, yet is only open for dinner and is one of the flagship restaurants throughout Walt Disney World. Steak 71 open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and Chef Mickey's favorite among young families and teens and tweens and young children. Always busy and it's right in the heart of the contemporary main building. And then there's the Contempo Cafe, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 
Think of this as a quick service or counter service, if you will. There are several lounges, as we see here, between the two resorts. We mentioned already the California Grill Restaurant. Well, it has its own lounge, as does the Steak 71 Restaurant. There's the Contemporary Grounds, more of a coffee shop. The Cove Bar, the Outer Rim, and the Sand Bar. Now, if we continue our tour of the outside of the grounds, we hope that you are enjoying this video and are benefiting from it. And if you are, then please give it a thumbs up so others will know to stop by and take a look as well for themselves. And if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. We publish between one and two videos each week. Now, on the side opposite Magic Kingdom, you can see beautiful lake and greenery. This, these are also where the pools are located. And every so often, of course, there are resort directories. We see one here for the Contemporary Resort. So one of the challenges for seniors staying at Disney's Contemporary Resort and the Bay Lake Tower is a lot of concrete, a lot of glass. It has been described by some as just another upscale, sure, but just another hotel and resort that you can find anywhere in North America. Nothing overly unique about it except for that view on the Magic Kingdom side at night of Magic Kingdom. Every so often you'll see gardens and flowers with the Mickey ears shaped. The parking lot is with an easy view from many vantage points. Also do remember that Disney's Contemporary Resort has a convention center. As we face the front of the Con Disney's Contemporary Resort's main building, the convention centers over to the right, so that would lead to a lot of those attending conventions and conferences to stay at the resort. Again, we see the lobby. Spacious, absolutely. Lighting is fine. But nothing that is awe-inspiring. The other aspect about being so located to Magic Kingdom is this. Magic Kingdom is frequently the least visited of the four theme parks at Walt Disney World by seniors. At least that's our impression. Magic Kingdom is just chock full of young families and young kids and babies with strollers. Not typically known as a relaxing, memorable experience. Memorable, sure. Relaxing? Typically not. Very busy. And so, Magic Kingdom is far away from, for example, Animal Kingdom, a completely relaxing and memorable theme park. Chef Mickey's always busy with youngsters and young families. So just outside Disney's Contemporary Resort's main building, where we can see the monorail tracks leading into the building, is a nice viewing area where one can see the fireworks at night. We'll see that coming up shortly. Now, I mentioned earlier that the monorail is actually a deceptive transportation method for those staying at Bay Lake Tower and Disney's Contemporary Resort. This is what I mean. So this sign is in the monorail area. Notice it says stop one is not Magic Kingdom. Magic King does not until stop four. But wait a minute, you're right, you're literally right next to Magic Kingdom. It's only a seven to eight minute walk, yet Magic Kingdom is the fourth stop. So that's what I mean, I say that having access to the monorail is not that great a benefit necessarily to have access to Magic Kingdom. So as we take a look at the fireworks from Magic Kingdom as viewed from within one of the studio units that Nancy and I stayed at at Bay Lake Tower. Let's go over the pros and the cons for seniors wishing to stay at 
Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort. I just mentioned the monorail and how it's deceptive. That's its advantage. Actually, in our opinion, it's a con because you're literally right next to Magic Kingdom. Yet, to take the monorail to Magic Kingdom, they have to go through four stops. There are only four restaurants on site, and most of them are on the pricey side. Sure, some have excellent views, some have outstanding chefs, but yet, most of them are pricey nonetheless, and there's only four of them. Compared to, say, for example, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa that has eight different restaurants. Quiet, relaxing areas for seniors. They are far and few between. And as mentioned, the theming, it's concrete, it's glass, it's metal, it's on the cold side, not overly inviting. And there's not a lot of details to visually view as you walk through the inside or the exterior of the resort. Now, as far as the advantages, access to restaurants, absolutely. It's mostly covered access inside, which is great. The leisure pools, there is one leisure pool. Some Disney resorts do not have leisure pools or quiet pools. And the additional perks that, yes, you have that short walk to Magic Kingdom. You can see the fireworks from certain views. And on the water, the electric water pageant, nighttime spectacular, which is, it's really fun. So we hope our review from a senior's perspective, for seniors, for you, of Disney's Contemporary, at Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower at Disney Contemporary Resort has helped you in your planning and deciding where within Walt Disney World you, a senior, a baby boomer, a retiree, want to be able to spend to have a relaxing, memorable vacation. Nancy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are two more videos of our travel adventures to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And lastly, my email is in the description below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.